So it's the start of another day and I am already working on installing applications on the new MacBook Pro. And I'm really looking forward to just spending some time with it today to do some tests and also to get things set up how I like on a new laptop. Now one thing I did want to give a big, big shout out to somebody else on YouTube. Charles Trippy, I saw your vlog from yesterday and I just want to send you my very best wishes to both you and Ali and of course the rest of the family. Uh, you're starting your chemotherapy and I just want to give you big, big respect. The fact that you're still going to do a live broadcast to Buffer Festival uh, just shows your dedication to YouTube. Big, big respect to you and I wish you the best and obviously a speedy, speedy recovery. Yes, the time has come. I am going to name you the Canon Legria that I bought for my videos, my personal videos and that I uploaded an unboxing of on the channel probably about a week or so ago and I've been using it to record my personal videos as well including one where I asked everyone who watches to actually help me name the camera. Plenty of suggestions, thank you everyone for your epic name suggestions for this little Canon camera. I'm going to go with one that Darren Gator actually suggested and as soon as I read it I thought yes that has to be the one. I'm going to name you Penny. 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 Yeah, can you guess why? Of course you can. I'm a big, 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 Big Bang Theory fan. And I think it is a very apt name. So you, from now on, shall be known as Penny. It's going to be Penny and me doing the personal videos. Thank you very much again for all the suggestions. This one was just the perfect choice. So I am sitting here in front of my laptop talking to the Game UK or Game Digital, whatever you want to call them, uh, online chat system for some customer support. I tweeted about this yesterday. You can see the chat window just there. But I'm still struggling to get some help. So basically I'll give you a bit of background about what happened is I pre-ordered the next gen consoles in a couple of different places including Game UK. And I've also got press samples coming of both the PS4 and the Xbox One. So I went to the game website a couple of times to change some of the orders. Now the first change I made was when Microsoft announced they were going to be giving FIFA 14 as a free download. I contacted Game and asked them to cancel FIFA 14 off the order. So they did that. They didn't give me my £1 deposit back. As far as I can tell, I might be wrong with that, but I can't see it anywhere in my bank account. And they cancelled just a single item off the order, and they left the Xbox One console on order, and another game. Now, the other day I contacted them again, because I wanted to cancel just the console and keep the game on order. So cancel the Xbox One, please, and keep the uh, game, which is called Ghosts, on pre-order. Nope. Sorry, we can't do that. We can't cancel single items off the order. Well, I argued that because they managed to do it last time. Nope, can't do it. And so this went on for a few minutes until I thought, ah, oh, I can't spend the time on this any longer. So I agreed with them and said, please just cancel the whole order. Uh, don't worry about the game. I'll just order it again. What did they do? They managed to cancel a single item off the order which they said they couldn't do, and instead of cancelling the console, they cancelled the game, leaving me with an Xbox One on order. Now I'm talking to them again, and they've said, yes, we can confirm it's not cancelled. That's not why I asked. At the beginning of the chat, I asked for it to be cancelled, and their response was, it's not yet cancelled. So can you please just do as I ask and cancel the pre-order for the Xbox One? I will wait on the chat until you confirm that you can and then I will update you guys and girls again in this video. So another update for you, I spent about another five minutes on the web chat system with Rebecca who has managed to cancel the console order. So that's very, very good. Thank you very much for your help on that. A big thumbs up. Uh, but she threw a curveball into the conversation. Apparently I have Xbox One Dead Rising pre-ordered as well. And then she realised, no, I don't have that pre-ordered. It was an order number that she copied and pasted in from someone else's screen. So that's good news as well. And then a bit of a strange end to the chat. 
the £26.95 that I paid deposit, so that was a combination of two games, £1 each, the console, £20, and £4.95 delivery, so a total of £26.95, I'm getting a refund of £24.95. I'll let you guys and girls work out if that's correct. Where's the tongue coming out? Oh, the tongue come out. You funny. You funny. Where's the tongue? Where's the tongue? Give me the tongue. There's the tongue. The tongue's coming out. Oh, do you love me? Not really. Hmm? I really do believe in remaining positive and being a very positive person. And I've got a little bit of advice for anyone out there. If you're online, either on YouTube, if you're on Twitter, Google+, Facebook, or if you've got a website and have people commenting on articles on your website, remain positive. Take on board all of the positive and constructive criticism you get. And if you get any hate comments, just delete them or ignore them. It's the only way you can do it. There are so many people out there that are going to post negative things and, and be nasty sometimes that you have to move on. And I've been getting a lot of stick lately about doing these personal videos. I absolutely love doing them. It gives me a chance to share with you what I get up to in between testing the tech and the gadgets. And I think it adds extra value to the channels. You're getting even more value for money. I just said value for money, didn't I? Actually, I had no intention of saying that. I can't believe that slipped out. YouTube's actually free, isn't it? So you don't actually have to pay to watch the videos. I think that answers the question, really. If you don't like the personal videos, I'm not forcing you to watch them. Just watch the tech videos that I upload every morning. And that way, the Geek Noise channel hasn't changed for you. If you are part of the Geek and Noise community and you know who you are, the people that actually talk to me uh, in a really nice way and a constructive way, and we have some really great conversations in the comments and on Twitter, of course, and Google Plus and Facebook, then you are more than welcome. I really do apologize if I cannot answer each and every comment. I really am. But if I can, then let's strike up that conversation. I, I absolutely love finding out more about you guys and girls as well. Now today, I'm going to end this personal video a little bit early, purely because I fancy an evening off. I've actually managed to do all of my work today. I still haven't got my issue sorted out with Mavericks playing well with Apple Mail. That still is an issue. Um, it just won't synchronize on the new Retina MacBook Pro. It will do on my MacBook Air. That seems fine. But since adding in this second laptop, it doesn't want to play, uh, play ball with me. It just will not synchronize one Gmail account. All of the others are fine. So I've still got that to sort out. I might do that while I'm watching television later on this evening. But for now, I've already got dinner cooking. So I've got a nice meal prepared for when my wife gets in and obviously for the kids as well because they've been hard at work at school all day. And I'm just going to relax and watch a little bit of telly. So I hope you enjoy your evening. Have a absolutely fantastic weekend and I will see you all in the next video.